Hello folks and welcome. So today's video is about a Lubuntu. It's a lightweight distribution. This is meant for new users. I'm going to give you some tips on, uh, well, resizing stuff in this menu, your panel, and some tips uh, regarding your file manager. I'll touch a little bit about software and also how to create one of these power off icons that will power down your system, no questions asked. So uh, I will first give you information on distro watch and get rid of all of these other thingies here. And uh, hopefully the commercial too. Let me resize stuff on the fly and uh, we'll go full screen. So Lumbuntu, um, there was a change on uh, 1012. I am filming on the 16th today. So a couple of five days ago. So Ubuntu is a Linux distribution that is Debian Ubuntu based out of France and Taiwan. It's a lightweight distribution. I'll say this again, a lightweight distribution. It has two desktop, LXDE and LXQT. I'm using LXQT today. I don't use the popularity on uh, DistroWatch at all, but you can find this link on my YouTube site. But uh, more importantly, it's a lightweight distribution. They do offer a live medium. What that means for you folks, so you can go to the website and download and test drive it. Again, I don't use the popularity factor at all. But it's a lightweight distribution. You can probably find information on what the minimum specs are online. But um, I will resize stuff on the fly. So what kind of computer am I using today? Well, it's a tower computer. But uh, I'll give you the particulars in a second, but more importantly, I'm using a standard keyboard with a standard computer mouse. It's a USB based computer mouse with a scroll wheel. I'm going to use that to my advantage to resize a lot of things today. So whether it's hardwired or wireless, it doesn't matter. I'm not talking touchpads. I'm using standard computer mouse. All right. If you want to download and test drive this distribution, what am I using today? I'm using this one. It's 64 bit. So again, this is a lightweight distribution. So let me give you the information on a terminal using INXI. So LXQT is the desktop, desktop environment. LXQT, lightweight distribution, Ubuntu 23.10, Mantic Minotaur, strange name. Uses a 6.5 series kernel, fairly advanced. I'm using my standard, um, well, demo machine, so I am using um, the, sorry, AMD Ryzen 5 on this one and uh, AMD graphics card. So I'm filming in 1920 by 1080. This does look very nice in 4K. Looks very nice in 4K, but I thought I'd spare you the even smaller icons. But uh, since I'm filming in 1920 by 1080 and things don't look right to you, you may want to check your gear symbol on your YouTube player. A lot of them default to 460. It's happened to me many times. I click it and then I readjust it and the things look nicer. So again, filming in 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to close this down for a second. If you can see this icon in the corner, then you're on my official YouTube site. Now there's a reason why I'm doing this, but more importantly, you can find that explanation in my community tab or even the about. However, if you can see that icon there, then click on that to subscribe. And I have over 200 plus videos on my YouTube site for that. All kinds of tips and tricks. And also my community tab also gives you uh, some tips on how to do keyword searches. And then my about section also has some links for you. Linux for seniors is the channel you're watching. So again, if you see the official logo sitting there of this, then you can click that to subscribe. All right, now that I got that out of the way, let's continue. So again, I'm going to show you how to make this last at the end of the video. It'll take about 12 seconds. So let's talk about the menu itself. Do you want these a little bit larger? In case you do, then let's talk about this little bird down here. Let's right click on it. Configure application menu. And maybe use a custom font size like 17, for instance. That makes things a little bit bigger. All right, this is normally off. So that's tip one. Right click, configure panel, tip two. You also have screenshot tools, by the way. If you type in the search feature, yes, it does have a search feature and type in SC screen grab. It has several selections. 
So on the size, the icon size and number of rows are all dependent on the, the settings in here. Okay, that also, also depends on your panel. All right, so you can make some changes in other words. So the icons themselves can be also turned off by right clicking, preferences, advanced, and you can turn these off here. So you got the Lubuntu manual up here also. So this is the only foreign icon that doesn't come on your, on your system. All right. So um, when you're doing backgrounds, you'll have to manually go find your wallpapers. All right, FYI. So let's talk about the menu. What comes installed? Well, you got this stuff. I'm not going to click a lot of things. I'll talk about the PC Man FM file manager. Again, it's a lightweight file manager. It behaves slightly different than some of the other videos that you've seen me uh, produce because it's a lightweight distribution. You got one game installed. I did install GIMP though, and it's very responsive. Okay. But uh, more importantly, it normally doesn't come installed. So these did come installed, including that screen grab tool screen capture tool, screenshot tool. LibreOffice is the latest version. It is 7.6.2.1. So you can save that in those Microsoft formats, 2010 formats, if you're looking for that kind of info. Sound and video, I added simple screen so I can bring you this video. System tools, you got terminal, I just gave you INXI information. Auto terminal. There's the LXQ settings and some shortcuts. There's the configuration center. So I'm going to open this up. So you got your widget styles, your icon themes, and etc. I do recommend screenshots for this stuff. And don't forget, you got two different cursors: a dark and a light, and the size. All right, close. So lots of little options in here. Again, this is a lightweight distribution. My printer is a wireless printer, so it was auto-discovered. I can print from Linux, Microsoft, Windows, or Macs, or even iPhones. So those wireless printers do come in handy. All right, so I have um, the preferences, and uh, you also have searches. So this is, again, LXQT. So if I were to type in DIS, that would be for the Discover Software Center. Uh, you can do your updates down here. This is the about. And uh, I can also show you where the software is coming from. These are called the repos or repositories. You can also install the Flatback backend if you wanted to install Flatpak software. You can do the all apps. You can uh, do the install key here or open this up to take a peek at it and do some searches. Again, this is software. It's nice to have for a lightweight distribution. And uh, you also have the leave. Now, the Hibernate, I'm going to stop here for a second for you folks that are installing, not testing, installing. So let's say you, uh, you open the live version, you find that you like it. It runs a little slower on your USB sticks and or DVDs, but you decided to install. Pay attention to the part where it gets to the hard drive because you'll have some options that you can click on to not only change that from extension for file format to like BTRFS or ZFS. I think it's ZFS is on there. But there's also another feature that uh, will say swap files with Hibernate or without. So pay attention to those if you want the Hibernate. Not all systems support Hibernate though, FYI. All right, we have the regular shutdown here and I also have this key that I made. But before I get going, let's talk about some icons on your desktop and also the file manager. So the trash can is kind of fat. It's got stuff in it. So I'm gonna double click that and empty it. Empty the trash, all I did was right click. Now the trash can is nice and skinny again. So your file manager, um, my user for today is just called LB1. You can click that here or you can click it on your panel. That's why I said sometimes a lot of folks don't like icons on their desktop. Just keep in mind your Lubuntu manual is in here too. It's a nice little thing to go look at if you install. All right, so I have this enlarged. So 
Uh, this particular file manager, this is called a PC Man FMQT. So it's a lightweight file manager. It doesn't have the, all the bells and whistles that a lot of the other fancy file managers have. So no double clicking on here to resize. You can resize it this way or right click and then resize this way. I know it looks great out to you. Okay, and then you can pull it in and close. That's just one example. Okay. So um, there's some settings in here under edit preferences, under display. Now, first of all, I just talk about the behavior, not yours, the file manager. It's set for double click when this is deselected. I don't really like single click on anything. But that's just me. But the display part I wanted to point out to you. So you have big, small thumbnails and side pane icons. That's the side pane and they all have selectables. And you can see that I'm cracking those out pretty well. Okay, so the side pane I'll change to 16 just briefly. Just to let you see they're dinky or tiny. Okay, so you may want to investigate that part of it to make things, well, larger for you. Some people like large stuff and some people not so much. But in either case, you have some options up here also. I will uh, resize that on the fly, sort of, just right clicking. And then I'll go to these icons. So a couple things um, still kind of work with my previous um, tips for the modern file managers, not the lightweight ones like um, documents. If you are opening up a text document, for instance, this is Featherpad, uh, you can hold down your control key. Again, I'm using a standard USB-based mouse with a scroll wheel on it. Hold down your control key and scroll up to, to resize what you can view. I'm not altering the font. I'm just resizing stuff on the fly. So it, visually, I can see it bigger. Okay, so if you wanted to go full screen, you could do it that way. All right, what's another way instead of the X in the corner? To close this. Well, I could use Control Q. I can also use Alt and F4. So let's take a look at this PDF. All right, so it's just a camera thing. I'm going to hold down my Control key and scroll backwards to make things, well, tiny, 10%. Scrolling back up to, let's say, 159%. And then I'm going to let go of the Control key and scroll some more. I'll find something to look at. How about that area? Holding down the control key, I'm going to scroll up on my computer mouse and scroll back and forth to resize on the fly. Okay, you can still use the arrow keys on your keyboard and page up and down. Okay, so far so good. Alt and F4. Let's talk about images. So, um, the spacebar does not produce a thumbnail. Just wanted to point that out to you. So, I'm going to go back in here. You need to double click. This is a LXI image. It's a fast and simple image viewer. However, it does also zoom. You can manually click or you can hold down your control key and scroll backwards and scroll forwards. So if I wanted to, let's say I was focusing on his head, then I would do that and then hold down the control key and zoom in some more and zoom back out, in and out. So this, again, is um, a simple file manager, lightweight. So on digital imaging like this, um, on a modern Linux file manager, you can probably see camera information, but not with this one. Okay, this one, does, it's lightweight. But that doesn't mean I can't use that image. I will, if I pick it, it'll be uh, minimized. Right click on your desktop, desktop preferences, background go find your image you'll need to do that manually okay and then you can hit apply after you found it all right just wanted to give you some examples here so i have my demo hard drive and it's an nvme so yes it does find modern hard drives also usb sticks thumb drives whatever you want to call them your trash can is here your home folder my user for today's lb1 trash can and then you have your computer file system. This mouse cursor is located in USR share icons, just like they are in all Linux distros. I'll have to go find that folder. 
somewhere in the eyes. There it is. So I will go find the settings briefly just to let you see the location. Get this out of the way and then we'll continue. So um, under the appearance section, we have the cursor. It's called Breeze. There they are, Breeze cursors. So more importantly, I used to show this on my previous channel. This folder is protected by root permissions. The ownership of this folder is owned by root, so you would have to have root permissions to add and remove anything. However, Control H, you could create your own folder in here. Uh, which would be like a dot icons or in other words period icons and then you can put your mouse pointers in there I have videos on that on my YouTube site All right, so these are hidden files and folders. They start with a period or a dot So the bash history born again shell history These are INXI command that I showed in earlier That was the command that I actually showed when I open this up, I can type in TER for terminal and hit my arrow key. That's INXI right there. That's the same command that is located in this file. Okay, anyways, born again shell. Control H, very common thing with most file manager for, for Linux. So that would be Control H to show hidden. So. You can also right click in here, open up terminal this way, create new something, folders. We can also show hidden here. It doesn't show you the command that says control H, but you can, you can certainly toggle that on and then toggle that off. So this was PC man FMQT. Very simple stuff to do, but it also does a lot of things for you at the same time. How do you create one of these and what is, what is it used for? All right, so we know we can just do the general shutdown here, right? Um, what do you normally do before you shut down? You save your files. Well, the same thing I'm going to say about this icon. Be very careful with this. Before you click, double click on this thing, you better save all your files first. So how do you create one? Right click on the screen, create launcher. In the command field, type in power off. It's that simple. Picking an icon will take me longer. So I'm going to click the icon that says application desktop. I'm going to pick a size. I'll go with the 64 by 64 and double click. This is use user share icons and whatever. And I am going to try to find an icon. Something. We can pick silly stuff. We can pick, um, how about if we pick that life preserver? All right, now that I got an icon picked, what are we going to call this thing? I called the last one power off. How about if we call this one shut down now? Because that's exactly what it's going to do. You can put comments if you like. It took me longer to explain this. Both of these icons do the exact same job. You double click, it powers your system down, no questions asked. Hopefully you have subscribed. Again, I have over 200 videos on my YouTube site. Thank you for watching.